How's Sean Marion here today, man? Doing all right today, boss? Man, I'm good, man. What's up with you? I can't complain, man. All-Star Weekend in Utah, you know? Not really the biggest city, but how do you feel about it being here in Utah? You know what, man? Um, you know, you always got to you gotta give the city a chance. Right. And, um, you know, sometimes it's, it's not just about the city. It's about everybody coming together for, for one purpose, and one person to enjoy each other, celebrate each other, and just have a good time. That's it. True, true. Do you have a favorite all-star, like, memory, all-star weekend memory? I mean, you know what? Honestly, I got to say, probably was my first all-star. That's the one everybody be, be talking about all the time. Because Jordan, because Jordan, you know, Jordan last one, and, uh, you know, hit that shot over me, but we still won the game, though. <laughs> you know, you've been known throughout your whole career being a great two-way player, you know, but everybody likes to pick on your jump shot. Like That's because y'all create that shit. <laughs> and, like, I shoot way better than most of these guys shooting oh, right now. Facts. Yeah, it's, just, facts. It's, it's that simple. But, you know, it's funny because I, uh, I, I, I used to really think it was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was kind of a hidden agenda to, to take away from what I, really get, what I really do on the floor. And it kind of was, if you really go back and look at it. Because they paid more attention to that than what I was doing on the floor. Yeah. So, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I, I've been fortunate. I've been truly blessed, man. I don't take none of this for granted. And, uh, and I, I, I know what it is. I see what it is. I'm not, I'm not in denial. You know, I'm like, yeah, I don't shoot like everybody else. But don't nobody shoot the same. Don't nobody shoot the same. You got one of the best shooters in NBA history right there. You don't shoot nowhere the same as anybody. Steph Curry or Klay Thompson. You got the Splash Brothers. They don't shoot nowhere, no, no, nowhere no. alike, do they? It is, it is not conventional. It is not conventional <laughs> so, at all. So, yeah, now nah, you're right. So it's, it's very funny. But, like, you know, as you sit here and uh, you, you learn, you got to respect things. You know, one of the things you, you, got, you, can't, you can't take away what I did on this floor. And uh, that's what it is. Yeah, no, nah, hey, definitely, you know, <laughs> a little off the record here, but definitely one of my favorite players growing up. So uh, uh, why you got to be off the record? My bad. It's on the record. Is uh, it? Is it? <laughs> like, like, man, like, you know, I, I'm sitting here with these legends, man. These guys paid the way for this, man. And, um, you know, as I, as, I, as I look at and admire and, and, and admiration and just like, man, you know, just to be a part of them guys, got Craig Hodges right there, man, you know. Like, I grew up watching these guys, man. Like, they love strip right here, man. You know, Kenny Smith is in here right now. Man, who else? Spencer Haywood over there. I mean, my my, 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 my brother, my, my, my guy, Jason Terry, walked in for a second. He had to go do something. Man, listen, man. This is this is this is a beautiful game, man. A beautiful situation, and we, we was able to bless the play. And ain't that mean guys ever been able to, to step into the NBA lane? So like, for us to be a part of it and make a make a statement and leave an imprint, though, it speaks speaks in volumes, man. And that's what that's what it's about. Thanks. So you know, just kind of sticking on the topic of where the game is at now. Okay. Now it's more of a pace and space, definitely three point centric era, like. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the change, like, compared to when you played? It was still kind of, you know, rough and tough in the early 2000s. And then you kind of played right when the era was about to start, is when you were going. Well, we started it. So Phoenix Suns started the small ball era. Mike didn't tell me. We started with the transition. When me going to, going to small, going to power, from small forward to power forward, it started the transition of what the game is right now, currently right. what you're seeing. Positionless basketball. You're seeing three and D players are the most valuable players on the floor. And they, they're hard to get, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're the ones that excel everybody to, to the championship level. So, like, um, that's where everybody wants. It, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't, ain't, ain't so many of them that's out there that's and available. True. So that's why they're so hard to get. But with that being said, though, like, the game is in a great place right now. The game is, the game is growing. It's going gonna, it's gonna to always grow because, you know what I'm saying, you can't, you can't do nothing but grow when you got, when you got a lot of kids just, just, just practicing and, and doing this game at such an early age and, and they're watching – they're watching the foundation from beginning to now. It's just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger. And uh, you know, they the, the the attention that everybody getting now with social media and all these different uh, platforms now that everybody can put content out is yeah. it's, 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 it's on the horizon. So as we sit here and watch the watch the expansion of this game and you know the involvement of this game, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see what's next phase after it right now because like I said, guys are shooting 40 feet away now. So, like, That's what's next? That's the standard. That's yeah. the norm now. Yeah. Well, not for everybody. It's only certain guys can do it. Steph, Dame, and a Trey Young. It's, uh, it's only a few guys that can do it consistently. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, I got yeah. you. So, can you give me your top three favorite players to watch today? Um, you know what, man? Who? Luca is very special. Luca, Giannis, because it's nasty and just like his aggressive as tucking the basket. You know, I mean, I still like watching LeBron play, man. You know, I'll, how could you not? Yeah, I mean, like he's what to be amazed to see what he's doing at this age right now is unbelievable. You know, and uh, 
you know, I just you gotta take your head off because he's gonna keep you gonna keep adding to that number. So, but KD, Kyrie, John Moran, it's like it's a lot of you just can't do it's, it's three. It's hard to just Step, do three. Yeah, yeah it's can't just do three. You know what I'm saying? Because some of these guys are just doing something that's so so special on that floor night in night out that you have to you have to be in all of them just and just love it. And obviously, you pay, you played for both teams that made big moves at the trade deadline. Like you just touched on KD being in Phoenix now, and also Kyrie going to Dallas. Yes. Who goes deeper this postseason? I mean, um, I think health is going to be a big part of that, and the in the in the chemistry. You know, I think uh, you know Kyrie's got I think got two three games under his belt. Yep. Um, you know, but I don't think he's played with one game with Luca though. Right? I'm not for sure. I think it's something he, like he's one. Played, he's played two or three with Luca already now. Two. Now they last game they didn't play together. He didn't, Kyrie didn't play. So it's only been two games, right? Okay. One or two games together. So I don't, I don't, I'm not 100 percent with that. But like, uh, you know, KD still ain't played yet with Phoenix. You know what I'm saying? But um, still need to see it before you can judge. Yeah, but you know, one of the things I've come to realize, and people don't realize, talking about uh, the depth and how far people go. If you ain't got a bench, you're not winning the championship. Every team that won a championship has a bench. It's really hard not to not to whether it be whether it be seven six man seven D eight D you got to have some supporting cast. Those guys play play very very significant parts in winning the championship. Can you give me the top five players that you ever played with, like a starting lineup of the top five guys that you ever? Played oh with? man, J Kid Penny start the top. J Kid Penny. Penny. You know what? I, I love playing with. I mean, I go back my first my first year. Cliff Robinson, uh, Rodney Rogers. Uh, Luke Longley, all those guys was amazing. I mean, Dan Marley. Um, I mean, I ain't. I, don't, I just go with the, my first year playing in the league, though. It was amazing. You know, I, I rekindled back with Jay Kidd and me, Dirk, Jason Terry, Paige, uh, Tyson, all of us. I mean, that, that Dallas Mavericks team was very special. I love those guys. Right. All that we was bonded together, Deshaun Stevenson, Karan Butler, everybody. You know, we was man. We was we was we was at the hip, locked in. And then uh, you know, I played with D Wade, LeBron. Um, Chris Bosch, I played with all of those guys too as well. So I played with quite a few guys, you know what I'm saying? But it was different parts of my career, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, but, but uh, you know, I have great teammates. You I know, mean, even, even John Wall is one of my good teammates. John Wall is Corey Blunt, you know. Oh, wow, you did play Jay John Dub. Yeah, that's Jay crazy. Dub, my guy, you know. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, Kurt Thomas, man, I had some great teammates, man. You know, um, it just, uh, you just, uh, you know, Sometimes situations don't always pan out the way you want to, but then, yeah. you know, for the most part, everywhere, every, every team that I have and everywhere I went was pretty good, man. It was pretty, pretty damn good. Last question I got for you, we get you out of here, man. Obviously, the 2011 championship team that you had was special, but you guys also beat Kobe Bryant and Powell. You beat a young OKC trio of KD, Harden, and Russ. Mm -hmm. Like, and obviously, Ron, Wade, Bosch. Is, do you think that's the toughest championship, the toughest route to a championship in NBA history? Of course it is. It's one of the, it's one of the hardest ones ever. Think about who we went through to beat, you know, because, like, um, the Lakers was defending champions. Yep. Uh, OKC, we beat them, but they, they end up going into the finals the, the next, next year. year, the next year immediately. And then, of course, Braun and them was in the finals the next year as well. You know what I'm saying? Then, oh, but people don't realize, you know, the deepest team that year in the postseason was the Portland Trailblazers. They were deeper than us. They had a, they had a squad. Like, but we beat them. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that that set the tone for us to, to do what we need to do on that, on that, on that, on that run, y'all. But, you know, like everybody got expectations. Everybody picked teams every year to win championships. But truthfully, truth be told, man, how many teams? It's only about a handful of teams every year that possibly really can do it. Everybody got predictions, you know. And, and sometimes, you know, Cuban said it best. You know, great teams uh, win, but hot teams win championships. You get high at the right time, and we had a great team, and we was hot. So I think yeah. it was both of us. You got peaked right after right we was, after the break. I mean, listen, we was on a roll. Yeah, we had some great winning streaks that season. You know, and we, I mean, like, you know, we, we I think we still finished fourth or fifth. West Western Conference has always been a monster. Yeah, it's you know, problem. yeah. So like, you know, you just you just want to get in, and you know, say whoever you match up with, hey. Let's, let's, let's go, let's go, because you can, you can pick that. You can play devil's advocate with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but we was we was ready. We didn't care who we didn't care who we played that year. It was just it was just it was meant for us to win. And it was like I, I don't I don't care who you can put any team in front of us that year. We we, we beat them. Would have beat them. Beating them. Anybody. The type of attitude you're supposed to have. Yeah, beating them. You know what? Last thing before we get out of here. Yeah. Just can you give me a favorite Dirk story? Because. You get a lot of his personality on Twitter. We see it in Man, his listen, interviews and stuff. So, so one of the things I love about Dirk is though, like his, you know, he's a, he has a, 
He has a sarcasm too on this. <laughs> we we can see it from afar. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> he look, he, you know, you know, he, and he say some shit. I'm like, yo, did you really just say that? And then I just look at him like, yo, okay. <laughs> and it's be like, and sometimes it'd be a, it'd be a heated moment in the game. He, he, he'll say something and just be like, I'm like, do you really just say that? We about to, we about to try to win this game. Can man. you give us an example? So, so like, we was, who would be playing against? We was playing, I'm trying to think what team we was playing against. I can't remember what team we was playing against, but it was like, we just literally got out the huddle. He was like, yo, don't fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, what, what the fuck? And, and, uh, and uh, I, can't, I can't remember, but like, we, of course we won the game. Yeah, but yeah, like, but like <laughs> it's almost like you got to, you gotta when he says stuff, you just got to just take it in and just, and just pause for a second. You got to laugh, then you got to pause, and then recoup, and then get back into the seriousness. But no, Dirk was special. But one of the things I did love, people, a lot of people don't know this, though, during our finals run, me and Dirk played one-on-one a lot. Oh. Because he's going to be matched up on a lot of small forwards based yeah, off sense. of the, the situation. And sometimes people, te- teams are trying to go smaller or whatever. But, like, that was that was one of the things I loved because it, it definitely – I was guarding bigger guys or whatever. It definitely kept us ready and kept on our toes. Yep. Who won more of those when it was? Both of us. I would, I would say it was half and half. <laughs> I appreciate your time, brother. Yeah. <laughs> appreciate you, man.